everyone, John 5XR here again today in the shop with the Honda Monkey. And today we are going to swap out this OEM ugly shifter assembly with pivots and all sorts of things with this beautiful TB parts Honda Monkey specific aluminum shifter. So uh, let me explain that to you and let's get it on the bike. All right, so we have the two shifters lined up, OEM on the left and the TB parts gear shifter on the right. So the first impressions are that it is very, very lightweight as compared to the stock shifter and um, very simplistic compared to the stock shifter. As you can see, the OEM setup is, uses a pivot arm. So it basically is not connected directly to the shifter shaft. And the reasons for this are not apparently known to me. However, I've heard that it's because if you connect a shifter shaft directly to the shifter itself, there's the possibility of the shifter shaft getting bent if you knock the shifter into anything, like a ground a stump or you know even your foot if, you're, if you got it wrong. However, I don't know if I agree with that, strictly because the um, every dirt bike I've ever ridden, any motocross bike, has basically had this direct shaft and I've crashed numerous times on dirt bikes and I don't think I've ever bent the shifter shaft. So I don't know if I buy that excuse. However, I like the simplistic change over here. Basically, we're just going to go from this system of pivots and mounts to a straight direct mount that uh, looks to put it basically in the same spot. So let's go ahead and get it on the bike and, uh, and see how it feels. Okay, so the first step in removing the shifter is to go underneath the bike and you're going to want to look up here to where the main part of the shifter hooks on to a shaft and that assembly is held on by a C-clip and so you're going to want to have a C-clip remover and just kind of play around with it until you get that C-clip out and then we'll move to the front side and undo the bolt that's on the shifter shaft. And you see the whole assembly kind of slides down. Then you just go the reverse direction with the main pivot arm of the shifter. And then you can pull out the other uh, cupped washer that's in there. And then the whole assembly is now removed. So this should go on the bike fairly easily. We just install this onto the shifter shaft. And you install the pinch bolt in there and tighten it up and position it where you like it which you probably also can't do with the stock shifter as well. So there is a little bit of adjustability depending on where you put it on the uh, shaft with the splines. So that wraps it up for the shifter replacement project on the Monkey. Very, very simple, very easy. The new shifter, as you can see, has a really tight, really nice, solid throw to it. There's no slack and there's no um, 
unnecessary movement. It's a direct link to the shifter mechanism on the on the transmission. So I like that kind of feel, that notchy, you know, race solid feel. The uh, the stock setup works good, but I get down in those corners and we're doing some flat track stuff now over at Lars's track. So we get down into those corners and on the Grom, I've hit the shifter lever several times on some of the tires that we have as corner markers there. And it's just bent that shifter straight back. So with this TB part shifter, that's gonna be avoided because it has the, um, the pivot on it. So hopefully if that hits something, it's gonna pivot just the tip and it's not gonna get to the shifter shaft. So that eliminates my worries that go with bending shifter shafts that they say the stock linkage will eliminate. And what we'll do in the future is we'll maybe do some ride videos of uh, the shifter in use. We'll see. Um, I've used this shifter on Lars's Grom before and I, I know I love it. So the review can go as far as this video right here and telling you that I love the shifter. I think it shifts great. It looks great. It's very affordable. So for me, it's two thumbs up. You can't go wrong with it. But in the future, I might do a ride video just to maybe show you how it works in action. So with that, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I hope you enjoy some of the playlists I've put together regarding this 2019 Honda Monkey build. And keep watching because we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. And just a little hint I'm going to drop. If you like this shifter, you're going to have three chances to win your very own TV Parts Monkey Shifter. Because I was lucky enough to get three of these shifters to give away. So... If you like it, stay tuned. My next giveaway is going to be for Honda Monkey TB Part Shifter. Thanks for watching.